We never plan to forget things, but somehow our memories sometimes fail us, and then we are left to struggle and rack our brains so hard to remember certain things. It's one thing to be taught something, it's another thing to remember, and in many circumstances it hurts more not to remember because it would have been better if one was never taught at all. It is at this point we begin to question everything that we have ever known and thought about ourselves. We challenge our intellect and some of the other things we know about ourselves. However, it's sometimes not about us or our intellectual capacity, but how we took the information. Nelson Dellis, a four-time USA memory champion, said, We all have a good memory. The problem is no one taught us how to use it. Dellis holds the record for remembering the most names, remembering 201 in 15 minutes. I can tell you are probably wondering how he achieved that. Dellis became inspired to train his memory after his grandmother passed away with Alzheimer's disease in 2009. According to him, she had been of sound mind just 10 years before. I didn't want that to happen to me. I wanted to find something I could do now that would prolong my brain health. While you don't have to be like Dellis who signed up a memory champion to learn how to recall things, you can find some good ways to remember things as well. And thanks to science, there are a few tricks you can use. Zhan Quang, a Chinese Confucian philosopher and writer said, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. In this video, I'll share with you the simplest way to remember more of what you learn. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other exciting videos like this. To remember anything that you've learnt quickly, the one thing that you need to do is to attach some form of emotional connection to it. Memory works better if there's a feeling associated with it, says Daniel G. Amen, MD, Assistant Clinical Professor of Psychiatry and Human Behaviour at the University of California in Irvine and author of The Making a Good Brain Great. When asked what's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened in a person's life, or what has been the best moment of a person's life from birth till their current status, nearly all, if not everyone, can answer such questions. Have you ever wondered why? It's simple. Those experiences are connected with their emotions. Dellis said, most people can recall a traumatic or memorable event. It's not some superhuman memory. In those instances, there was something special and our brains absorb that better. 90% of your day is not interesting. You need to turn it into something memorable. For instance, say you want to go pick up a few items from the grocery store, one of which is ketchup. Now. Imagine how you will feel if you accidentally spill some on your white t-shirt. That feeling will be a reminder not to forget that item when you eventually get to the store. US memory champion Joshua Foer at a TED talk said that someone who is told to recall a man who is a baker is more likely to do so better than someone told to remember a person with the last name Baker. According to him, the name Baker doesn't mean anything to you, Foa says. It's entirely untethered from all the other memories floating around in your skull. But the common noun Baker, we know bakers. Bakers wear funny white hats. Bakers have flour on their hands. The truth is, if you cannot make any form of connection between what you now know with what you once knew to make an emotional connection or a visual representation, you'll most likely forget. Here are three things to help you attach emotions to it. 1. Make it exciting by involving your senses. Attach your sense of smell, taste or touch to whatever you're trying to remember. For instance, 
Say you need to get a box of pizza down the road right after work. You can trick yourself into remembering by imagining how cheesy you like your pizza to be and also create an image of the burning feel against your tongue, just the way you want it. I bet you won't forget to pick it up. Delis says, give it a color and make it as real as possible. If you want to remember a name, come up with a picture of what the word could represent. Mason has his unique trick of making things exciting. According to him, when I need to do something later, I switch my wedding band to the other hand as a memory trigger. Knowing I won't forget about it allows me to focus on other things fully, so I don't forget those either. 2. Share what you know with someone else The best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. When you share your knowledge of a subject with someone, you'll be in a better position to remember it because you understand it even better and you've used your own words to help others understand it. You've been able to create an emotional connection with it. 3. Write it down Writing it down might seem like a situation of poor memory, but it is not. Maybe a little old-fashioned, but an effective method. Albert Einstein once said, paper is to write things down that we need to remember. Our brains are used to think. Writing stimulates cells at the base of your brain called the reticular activating system. When the RAS is triggered, your mind pays more attention to what you're doing at the moment. When you're writing by hand, your brain is more active in forming each letter. When you write, you initiate consciousness, which allows you to pay attention to what you are writing intentionally. When you do, you'll be able to recall it when you need to. Michael LeBeouf, an American business author, said, When you write down your ideas, you automatically focus your attention on them. Few, if any of us, can write one thought and think another at the same time. Thus, a pencil and paper make excellent concentration tools. That's it! As long as you remember that your emotions are a huge part of your learning process and hence you attach them to learning, you'll always be able to remember what you learn. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you!